This is the guts of a dead uh, Makita DC1411 uh, drill battery charger. And you can probably guess why it's dead judging by the exposed die on the charge controller uh, I see. But anyways, this is the um, power supply stage, a blown 3.15 ampere fuse there. Fairly obvious as we've already seen why it's blown. And there's that capacitor which is QRM suppression. And because that's wired across the mains, there's this 470,000 ohm resistor just to discharge that. So don't get a nasty tingle if you touch the if you touch the uh, uh, prongs on the plug immediately after unplugging the thing. And there's the um, Grant's bridge, a thermistor which is for inrush current limiting, so you don't get a big spark from this capacitor charging up if you plug the thing in or when you plug the thing in. Uh, QRM suppression choke. That which is a varistor for surge suppression. Some um, just current limiting resistors there. Switching transistor on this heat sink and some miscellaneous other passives along with that which is I think other base or gate drive transformer. For, for same. And there's this which is the transformer for the switching supply. And some uh, capacitors for uh, QRM suppression and miscellaneous other passives and this loads of this uh, some kind of a silicone adhesive glob all over everything to uh, just keep things from vibrating or breaking loose and out the isolator for feedback a, um, that integrated circuit a um, BA10393, which is, I'm guessing, some kind of switching supply controller. Judging by its position, a couple more things, which I'm guessing rectifiers. And power transistors for charge management. And there's this device, which I can't read the part number on it, but that is most likely the, that's almost certainly the uh, charge management integrated circuit. Um, problem is that uh, the part number is obscured by the adhesive and a good chunk of the device was blown off in a catastrophic failure so I can't really determine what exactly that is then there's a pair of um, LEDs right there one red one green for um, a status indication they, they just shine through this little light pipe to the front of or this light pipe to the front of the case and there's these which are the outputs to the actual battery under charge um, two of which are mains in and out or the um, DC uh, hot and DC neutral for charging the battery the other two go to things like uh, thermistors in the battery and uh, over temperature detection switches because they often have a little or an um, over temperature uh, detection bimetal switch in them as well. The trim pot for parameter adjustment and the actual PCB design or supply design is by Atamara. So it's a uh, fairly reputable manufacturer actually designing the thing. That's actually, I think, who also made this. Because they're fairly big in the uh, power supply and power electronics world. And what else is of interest? There's a couple of capacitors there. Or, no, oh yeah, capacitors. And there's um those two devices which are ICs. So I think those are probably potential references, not uh, transistors. There's that actual transistor this time. We can double the Q and um, 
I think some of the parts on this are dead as well, so this is really something that's going to get replaced and not repaired. You can see bits like here, there's been some overheating in the PCB. Because this is made of this uh, paper laminate material, it um, turns brown if there's any kind of overheating anywhere. And that indicates that, some, that two of those transistors are fried. At least they've been overheating fairly substantially. In use, of course, and again, this thing spent most of the past 12 years plugged in, so had a decent life. But, anyways.